how we become who we are or how young people develop into the adults of tomorrow is, is influenced by everything. Every time they switch the TV on and see a news bulletin, every time they perhaps uh, you know, read a paper, or every time they're in a lesson and, and get taught something new that they learn about, that influences how they develop. What we've tried to do through everything here is look at how do we support that young person to empower them as an individual to make better options and better choices. Today really was looking, exploring that notion of how people become themselves, but looking specifically within artistic opportunities through dance and music and art itself in exploring that idea with some of our young people. This area of notion of identity and self uh, really links into what we do in, our, in the art department at Priest Knoll and uh, it looks at uh, the, the person as a wider person, not just who they are in school or not just who they may think they are on the surface. The way we tie that in with art and design is looking at use of materials, use of photography, digital media, to explore the notion of self and identity. We expressed ourselves through our art, so we have a good side and a bad side. And this will help us in the future look at our bad times and our good times. And what we like to do is stop uh, the work mid-progress, get everyone together uh, and have input from students to make sure that their voice is heard on that and that they are guiding the work towards an outcome that they would respect themselves. Giving them that opportunity to explore who they are um, away from a, a really constrained sort of timetable of traditional lessons so that they get that opportunity to, to be a bit more themselves in perhaps an environment where the time doesn't really afford itself to that. From Kanduko's perspective and mine as a dance teacher, I am interested in, um, in creating a, um, an environment of equality in the dance studio and in contexts like this one. We're not asking them to copy our movements and we're not dictating the movement that they do and in terms of self-actualization what we're trying to do is say your version is fine and Welly and I talked a lot about that all day about there being no right or wrong movement and that all the movement actually comes from the from the dancers. In actual fact when they have been given the opportunity to create their own movement the actual quality of their performance has improved and the level of their focus and the level of their participation has been amazing. With Kanduka we're very much, we try, and, we try and push everybody to their full potential and at the end of the day quite often they, they do, they're really surprised with how much they've actually achieved that day. I'm 16 years old and my job today was to teach the children um, how to draw manga and to produce either a comic about themselves or a portrait about themselves. When people are drawing, it's just really interesting to look at and to want to be involved and do it yourself. Students on the autistic spectrum are quite self-critical, uh, more so than you know your average everyday student. So we've got quite a mix of students in the group today. Some of them have said that they've never drawn as well as this before and that um, it, they really think today has helped and they know so many things now that they didn't know before. I work with um, Jack on a daily basis and today he's really enjoyed doing the drawing and I think it's a really good activity that they've done. The nurture group today have concentrated really well. They, were, um, they really just enjoyed the actual activity and I don't think they wanted to stop. I think I found um, an interest, like a hobby. If I believe in myself I can actually do what I wanted to do. I have really enjoyed myself today. I never realised how much fun expressing myself could be. Thank you for making me feel so involved. Having had this positive experience will benefit them in a science lesson or a maths lesson and it just being, having, feeling that, yeah, I can contribute to this, I have something to bring to this. Students can actually look at it and look back at it and see what they've actually learned about themselves that maybe they didn't know before. Some of the young people today will be in a much more positive mindset as far as their own learning and development, which can only improve performance across everything they do at school.